All right, guys, how's everyone doing today? We got a big box to start the video off. Um, I believe these are all pans. I actually can't remember. This is from the homie Yuli Chamberlain Vintage. I'll put his Instagram up right here. Um, I believe it's pants. And it hasn't even been that long since I purchased this. So I'm in like literally a couple days, but I've purchased a lot of stuff recently. Got a pair of vintage Lee Storm Riders dead stock with tags. A pair of Y2K dead stock Levi's. Um, paper tag though, so I guess they are vintage. And then we got another pair of Lee's. This have good fade and wear. Um, a lot of these are gonna go into the flea market just because I really don't sell like Lee's online much. This is a really nice wash of a vintage Levi right here. It's like an acid stone wash. We got a pair of vintage Carhartts, good size, 32.30. And I believe I paid 130, like 160 for this all. Um, I'll pop up on the screen my exact amount I paid for this all, but really good price for all of these. Got another pair of vintage Carhartt jeans, the vintage Levi's. These are a good pair, size 34, vintage jorts. And we got another pair of Levi's right there. I'm not even gonna unravel those. Um, we got some really nice rock wear good fade on those and nice wide leg here we got a pair of black dickies these are a jean and they're like double knee so that's cool then we got a pair of levi's right here 32 36 a very long fit let me cut those up got another pair of carhartts good light wash carhartt work pants good canvas ones another pair of carhartts carpenter pants these are good yeah, these are good ones. Some boot cut silver tab Levi's, early 2000s, good pair, really good wide legs. We got these South Poles. These are a bigger size, a size 42, but nice wide leg. Easy seller still. We got a pair of old Oshkosh. These are some really cool old Oshkosh dead stock jeans. Those would be good in the flea market too. And that was it for that box. Now, I stopped at a flea market with Charlie earlier and didn't film because she started crying and we we're trying to get out of there. But I did pick up a couple things. I think I spent like $40, but we'll run through it real quick. Got this really nice Y2K Dragon Skull t-shirt. Then we got two pairs of dead stock Jeff Gordon and sweatpants with tags, vintage pairs. Um, happy with those. Then we got a Virginity Rocks hoodie for the low, low price of $2. I would not have picked this up if it wasn't so cheap. But I literally sell these in the flea market all day for 15 bucks and they never last a week. A really cool Patagonia vintage button up. I wish this one fit me because the color and the fade and just the wear on this is amazing. That was it for this little quick part of the video. Let's get back to the thrifts. At the first stop of the week, we picked up this Harley Davidson t-shirt with an Ohio State Buckeyes, really nice denim jacket. Cool little custom piece with the camouflage fleece sweatshirt. Always love finding that. Then we got some Columbia cargo hiking pants with this really cool Harley Davidson lightning t-shirt. The most underwhelming one I've ever seen, but still a cool find. And at this stop, we got the nice pair of Levi's. Always picking those up. Two pairs of jorts there. And then we got this really nice 80s Winston thermal with a camouflage long sleeve tee. Been selling these a lot this summer. And an Echo Unlimited, cool little Y2K shirt. And at this stop, we got the Mountain Hardware woman's t-shirt with a Carhartt brown button up. Nice little faded piece. Then we got the Eddie Bauer corduroy top. Those sell really well for me. Then we got the Wrangler Carpenter jeans. Always selling those. With a Purdue tote bag and this really cool laser displayer. I should pop up a comp for you guys to check out. All right, y'all, how we doing? Today is Saturday. We're out in a couple garage sales. I had the chance really to pull my phone out and videotape there because everyone's just been like right in front of my face. But I did just stop at one and pick up a couple things. I picked up the starter dead stock. Monsters of the Gridiron. This one was five. And then the IU leather jacket right here. They had that one at 50. I negotiated with them a little bit, talked to them for a while. I was able to get both for 40 bucks. Not a steal, but it's a really good price for that jacket. I'm gonna try to price it around like 100 bucks. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go to Goodwill now, see what we can find there. Here we found this really nice Patagonia hooded deep pile fleece. Always sell well for me for around like 50, 60 bucks. Then we got the butterfly hippie rave type festival long sleeve. Then we got the nice little Copper River beer crew neck with an Indiana University 80s hoodie. Cool little find. The West Coast Choppers, always picking that up. I haven't seen the one with the car before, so nice find. And then we got the Indiana Fever Douglas jersey with a nice biker leather vest. And the Levi's Kids shorts. 
And then we got some Champion Y2K sweats. Don't sleep on those. I ended up selling for 25 bucks the same day I posted. And then we got two pairs of short shorts with some Levi cargo shorts. And we got the camouflages, of course. Good little mossy oak camo cargos. Easy 30, 40 bucks all day. And then we got the Dickies Carpenters here. Don't really see this a lot, so nice little pickup. Here we got the Yulin Country Club Quarter Zip. That's my local one. This sold the flea market really well. We got a couple random t shirts for the flea market. We got a Carhartt flannel with a Columbia Purdue early 2000s piece. And these, of course, had to fall on the ground, but the Riggs cargo pants with two pairs of Wrangler Carpenter jeans. Always selling those. Do you want a chance to win a free giveaway? Well, stick to the end of the video. I'm gonna have an opportunity where you guys can get this for absolutely free, and I don't even know what's inside. Back at the thrifts, we got the Carhartt Double Knees. I love finding those, and I don't find them a lot, so nice little pair to find. Then some real tree camo pink sweats. Then we got some buckle back, some 90s jeans with the baby fat capris. Some really good pants at this stop. I was actually surprised because I didn't find a lot of tops here. But then we got a nice little Britannia jeans and the Carhartts. This stop we also found the Nike golf poster. Tiger Woods, pretty cool find. And then we got the Polo Bear hoodie. It's a newer one, but still cool. With the Allen Iverson Y2K Reebok hoodie, that one's fire. Really like that piece. And a nice Purdue hoodie and a nice plaid. Then we got the Staple jersey. I remember at one time Staple was a big brand. I don't know if it still is, but I picked it up. Then we got the Peterbilt all over print t-shirt with some Nike running shorts. I sell these really well for about 20 bucks. And then we got some Carhartt green for the kids shorts with a Y2K Colorado crew neck. And I can't even pronounce this one, but it sold on Depop for 25 bucks. So I had to pick it up. And at this stop, we went crazy on the Harley Davidsons. They just kept coming out and I just kept grabbing them. I did pay $5.99 a piece for these. I sell them for right around $12 to $15. Bucks. So not a crazy come up. They're newer. A couple of these I'm going to end up keeping for myself though. So had to just grab them all. And I know I can make at least like $70 to $100 on the whole lot. Then we got the Pacers Champion Shorts. With a Carl Anthony Towns jersey. And a WrestleMania 2011 tee. And at this stop we got the really nice Columbia Hiking Shorts. With a nice pair of Dickies Faded Out Jorts. And then we got some camouflage cargos from Wrangler. And then we got a nice pair of Wrangler Carpenter jeans. Always buying those. The Nike Y2K hoodie. And the Colts Vintage Fleece. Find a lot of those. And we got a Corvette 80s bomber jacket. Nice find. Good fade. And then, of course, I'm picking up more pants because I've been selling so many pants recently. We got the Dickies Black Workwear Pants. With this vintage kind of motocross racing t-shirt. We got the Adidas Y2K sweats with the Nike ones that ended up falling. And I should have just left those, but I did grab them. Then we got some cotton pants and shorts. With two pairs, or actually three pairs of Carpenter jorts here. Those have been selling really well for me now it's getting warmer. Then we got the Boiler Down You Are Ugly crew neck from Kilroy's with the 80s varsity jacket. Nice little blank and a good color. We got the Columbia Green Hoodie with this really nice old whiskey jug. Nice little crock to find. They'll sell for around 60 bucks for me in the flea market. Then we also picked up this Nike soccer tee on the way out. And at this stop, we got the Mendocino California t-shirt with the War Machine. Nice little video game fader. And then we got the newer Nike t-shirt. Just had a really cool graphic, Soul Food. And then we got this wraparound print nature t-shirt. Beautiful, kind of northern lights. Love that one. It sold on my last Whatnot Live. Then we got the whatever quote t-shirt with a nice pair of women's rockwear jeans. Pick those up. They'll sell pretty well for around 25 bucks. And then we got these really nice Y2K baggy jeans with the Adidas track pants. And this super faded out San Diego Zoo long sleeve. Nice little rhino on the back. Then we got the Ed Hardy women's t-shirt. Nice little design. And at this stop, we picked up the Tesla crew neck. Cool find, good fade. Then we got the IU crew neck. Those go in the flea market. Those newer ones, but still a little bit of age. Then we got two Walmart crew necks. I've actually sold those a couple times for around 25 bucks. We ended up leaving that one because of a stain, but we did grab this Nike white crew neck with the Nike center swoosh hoodie. Nice oversized fit. 
And then we got the FedEx t-shirt with the OSU baseball dead stock tee. And then we got a nice couple Harley t-shirts to go with it. This one's a really cool design. And I should say this is more than a couple here. We actually found a good amount. And then we got a nice Van Halen tattoo t-shirt with the Marvin Harrison jersey and Florida basketball jersey. And we got a pair of Levi's dead stock jeans with a nice pair of Gap Carpenter's super baggy and Nike track pants to finish it off. I hate having to redo videos, but I have to redo this one. And unfortunately the package is already open, but I do want you guys to see what was included in this because these are all gonna be rent on my next What Not Show, which will be next Thursday. Make sure to bookmark that top link in the description. And if you guys don't have a What Not account, you guys can get a free $15 for anything in my show or anyone else's shows um, where you guys literally get $15 in credit. If you buy an item for $10, it'll be absolutely free. So definitely if you don't have a What Not account, Click that referral link and you guys can get some free credits on me now, now in this package there's a lot of really cool wrestling items i picked up this goldberg crew neck 1997 xl tall text tag good fade then we got the bobby lashley dominance t-shirt i believe he's relevant again in the wwe i'm not sure i don't watch it but um i do see clips here and there then we got the y2j chris jericho with a really cool back print like that one on the anvil tag this is a 1999 and then we got the wwf attitude on the highland tag right there some really cool pieces and i'm starting these all at one dollar on my next whatnot show make sure to go bookmark that it'll be top link in the description shout out broken glass thrifts because they ended up sending you guys a giveaway item i have no clue what it is it's been wrapped up i'm literally just going to put the shipping label on it and ship it to you guys so I've, i'll have no clue what this is before you guys get it if you guys do want to be entered in the giveaway for this t-shirt make sure all you have to do is leave a comment on this video follow broken glass thrifts on instagram he is the one that provided it give him a big thank you and make sure to also check out my Instagram because I am going to be posting the results on there. I'll put both usernames up there for Instagram and just like leave a comment on here and subscribe if you guys want to because at 2K subscribers, I'm going to be doing a very cr crazy giveaway myself. And it's going to be a high value item. And I think you guys will really enjoy that and it'll be worth it because it'll be absolutely free for you. All you guys have to do is hit the subscribe button down below and if you guys would like to as well i'm not trying to plug a ton of promos at the end here but check out my depop right here because all the items you see in this video mostly all of them will be ending up on my depop where you guys can get them for a really good price and message me on instagram if you guys want to get them for a little bit cheaper as well and i really do appreciate you guys checking this video out again if you guys would like subscribe to the channel and i post weekly thrifting content, estate sales, garage sales, and the summer's coming up. I'm gonna be doing a ton of garage sales and outdoor flea markets. So if you guys do like that content, make sure to subscribe because it'll be coming to you very shortly. All that being said, free giveaway, let's go. I'll catch you guys next week, peace.